we're, we're gonna see. No, I think that's fine. I, I think in terms of like you know playing out the gram. I mean, it's gonna be Ken. Okay. Yeah, I say like Ken's fireball, pretty standard, a little bit slower. Yo, Angry Bird. After he takes a throw, he loves to do crouch jab or crouch yeah, medium no, punch. Yeah, I know. He's hit me with that eight evil like three times. <laughs> so don't do that medium kick. I have to kick. throw. My man likes to hit you with a crouch jab. Punk says he's hit me at Evo with that like. He literally times. just did it. He started off with a with a grab, and then threw out the crouching meat or crouching jab, and then hit him with a low medium kick. Confirm. Oh, oh, trying to whiff. This uh -oh. is gonna be huge right now. The momentum all in favor of Angry Bird again. This is first to one. Mm -hmm. the sudden death. Let's see who get those five points. Okay, low forward, DP Very through good. the fireball. That uppercut getting through. Once again, a check with the medium kick. Back to the target combo once again. Use some of that V trigger just to, to make, make sure you don't oh. challenge. Oh. This is looking so dominant from Angry Bird right now. Look at the life lead, the amount of meter he has as well. He's not going to use Thermal Barrack. Yeah, he wants to keep it tight knit. He does not want to send him full screen just yet. CA could have been on the table for the chip, and I know that's what he was afraid of. Makes you play a little more antsy in that neutral game, but Angry Bird is going to take that round. Damn, he's done so well in the Fireball game uh, throughout the course of his matches and in this current one. Yes, the big punish now against Punk. Punk has been committing to that medium punch twice over now so mm -hmm. far. Oof, oof. Big opener. Significant opener, the damage, took it, took it, took it. back throw, it's going to be huge now for Angry Bird. Man, the uppercut still intact, keeping the focus alive. Oof. Oh, boy. One game. You got one game to win. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh, oh. No stun, but the round can be won with a throw. Activate. Activation. Backs up a little bit. This is fine. This is the game he likes to play, Thermo Barrack. JB kind of whispered, he's like, don't waste it. Oh, do it, but it gives him so much of an advantage. Oh, boy. Yeah, it gives Angry Bird a lot to work away. with now. You got to get the hit. Oh, oh another one to God. get through. The uppercuts to get through the fireball pressure, and I'm so happy that Punk understands. That's not a real one. EX stays in front, actually gets the hit. Angry Bird on the pressure with the can in the corner. Oh, big crush. This is round number three. Punk needs this round, and so does Angry Bird. Another throw, Jesus. stun on the table. No thunder, kick the check on the wake up. Gets the target knocked down. Spends so a little bit of that meter on B-Shift. Looking for the activation point. That is exactly it. The back dash, the read, the throw, but still gets the opener off the low medium kick. Huh. Forward throw now. Too far out, can't get the roundhouse. He creeps up just a little bit, plus frames. V reversal to get out of the corner. Angry Bird is still trying to fight his way out, but no, the check, big interruption, and big damage. The nice. big confirm, wow. even bigger from Angry Bird. <laughs> this is gonna be more than enough tasted. I gotta say, Angry Bird taking the five points. Nasser Bandits is gonna be the victor this week against Panda. And that last game was down to it. I felt like Angry Bird knew. He was like, I know that this is what I have to hit and was holding out no matter what for it. Found the opening, goes straight into the CA. And Punk was definitely on his way back to like still in that round. You can see it. But at least Punk got that 20 points going in. Like I said, this yeah. season the format a little different. You can stay a little closer in ranking because of that five point difference. That added extra one is just to make it a little, you know, give you an opportunity to steal it. I personally love the rule change. And this is what it's given us for week one, team battle number one. Nasser Band is looking strong as I thought they were. No matter what happens, bro, I feel like they're always going to be able to have an answer against most of the teams here. <sighs> it's a pretty versatile team. I mean, you could be saying the same about uh, Panda as well. I mean, like having different types of champions in their own regard, right? So it's, 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 it's very tough right now to see how this is going to play out just based off of the first couple of teams, right? We have so many more teams to go through. But as it stands right now, again, Nasser Bandits taking the best of Panda. And I gotta say, with like Punk and this amount of information right now, I wouldn't be surprised if going forward, Punk will just go Luke outright from here on out. I, as much as we wouldn't want to see it, to be honest. If like trying to I, win, that's what I, we I probably think see. There are, there are certain occasions, certain matchups, where he's going to be picking out some of the, the characters that he's been working on, like Chun-Li, possibly, Cammy, if need be. But as it stands right now, again, he's going to be playing to win, right? So Luke just might be the mainstay. It's been the mainstay right now for NASA Bandits and a paid-off dividend.